The first film we're going to talk about today is Mile 22. It's the new action film from director Peter Berg, who is collaborating once again with Mark Wahlberg. These two have worked together a lot in, the, in recent years, from Deepwater Horizon to Patriot's Day to Lone Survivor. Here they hook up to tell a story kind of about a black ops organization in the United States, you know, like a secret off the books uh, little group of uh, militants that kind of take care of the dirty work that the government doesn't want to be associated with. It stars, of course, Mark Wahlberg. It also stars Lauren Cohen uh, from Walking Dead. She's going to be a huge star. This is a great little performance for her to just show some range, you know, from what people know of her as Maggie on The Walking Dead. However, this film is just a little bit too confident and a little bit too sure of itself uh, for its own good. Peter Berg really tries to create this like frenetic energy. There's a lot of scenes that are just like chopped together that have like nothing to do with one another, but they just kind of go back and forth. This is a kind of movie where the camera is constantly shaking. Even if it's like a close up of somebody driving quietly down the road, the camera is creating all of this unneeded energy. This time around for Peter Berg, it just doesn't really work. I was a big fan of Deepwater Horizon. I liked Patriot's Day. I also liked Lone Survivor. But here, it just feels like they're going to the well one too many times. I just couldn't get into this film. I also thought some of the plot was just really contrived and manipulative. Mile 22 isn't a terrible action film, but it just isn't a very good or memorable one. I give it a C. But if you're looking for a memorable film this weekend, look no further than Crazy Rich Asians. This movie is crazy, crazy good. March. We've been dating for over a year now, and I think it's about time people met my beautiful girlfriend. What about us taking an adventure east? Like Queens? Singapore, Colin's wedding. Don't you want to be my family? I hardly know anything about them. Every time I bring them up, it changes the subject. Maybe his parents are poor and he has to send them money. Let's take a bag and get you checked into first class. Nick, we can't afford this. So your family is rich? We're comfortable. That is exactly what a super rich person would say. I was so, so surprised by this film. It might be one of my favorite films of the year. And it's just one of those movies that I think has everything going for it. You might have heard about it. It's getting a lot of hype, and it's all well-deserved. This is the first movie in 25 years to have an all-Asian-American ensemble and an Asian-American lead in an American movie. The last film to do that was 1993's The Joy Luck Club. So this is groundbreaking in some ways, but it's just well done. And it's also a surprise because this film is directed by none other than John M. Chu, who is not the kind of guy that you would think would bring us this uh, good of a movie. Chu's recent filmography includes Gem and the Holograms, G.I. Joe Retaliation, and Step Up 2 and 3, and now he follows up with Crazy Rich Asians. I tell you what, this is just simply an entertaining movie from start to finish. This cast, uh, it stars Constance Wu, Henry Golding plays the love interest, it's about a, a Chinese American who falls in love with a, a guy who is really from a rich family. They go back to the family. The mother, who's played by Michelle Yeoh, who I'll get to in a minute, you know, doesn't approve of her. There's all this family tradition and, and you know things like that that she has to fight through. So on the surface, this sounds like a, a movie that we've all seen before. But even though the plot elements are familiar, there's just so much to like here. I would watch an entire movie on any one of these characters. That's how kind of rich, no pun intended, that's how rich and colorful this cast is. But Michelle Yeoh, who is the mother, she is just absolutely pitch perfect. She's one of the biggest Asian stars in the world. She hits all of the little nuances. She doesn't play this evil role, which would be what this movie usually would do. Everything is great about this film. I can't say enough about it. Go see Crazy Rich Asians. I give this movie a solid A. Couple smaller films also opening this weekend. There's The Miseducation of Cameron Post. It stars Chloe Grace Moretz and Sasha Lang. Uh, it's about conversion therapy. Uh, it's a, based on a best-selling book. This movie to me was a little bit slow and deliberate, a little too slow for its own good. There's some things to like in here, but overall I, I give it a C plus. There's also another movie opening called Breaking and Exiting. This one's a total dog. It stars Milo Gibson and Jordan Hinson. It start, it's about a guy who breaks into a house, finds a girl who's trying to kill herself, and the two like fall in love or something like that. 
nothing about this movie works. It's, it's in limited release. You can go check that out if you'd like. I give that one a D.